It's coffee time. Friday. I don't know if you can hear me because it's really loud here, but we made it to the Yelp Friday, day one. Uh, experience so far is really good, but it's so busy, it's so loud. And I keep seeing people that I recognize from Booktube and I'm too scared to approach them. So if you saw me and I didn't say anything, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's Friday, okay? I'm just kind of getting warm. I also spent a lot of money already on books, but we already knew this was gonna happen. So I mean, who's surprised here? So I'm gonna try to take you a little bit around so you can see the publishers and all the books and everything. But it's really busy and really loud, so I'll try my best. Hello guys from my hotel room. So I am in the middle of getting ready to go to Yalk day two. And you know, the thing is I had so much fun yesterday, but I was so scared to talk to people. <laughs> There's something like about watching someone's channel, commenting on their videos. Oh, you know, some people I've been watching for years and I don't always comment on all their videos, but then I see them here and I'm like, oh, maybe I should say hello. <laughs> But then I just get scared and I just walk away. <laughs> um, but today I really hope to be able to, so to talk to some of those people, to take some pictures with them and just embrace it. <laughs> uh, so wish me luck. 
But anyways, I mean, most of the time you're kind of busy because you are going to the signing, grabbing books, um, maybe participating on some contests and raffles to see if you get books. And yeah, I did go to two panels uh, yesterday. One of them was um, about dystopian worlds. Of course, Neil Schusterman was in the panel and I was really interested to hear his thoughts because they were asking, you know, about... Um, when writers um, are creating these dystopian worlds and they're creating this world, if they think that it is something that could possibly, potentially happen in the future. Um, so it was a really interesting conversation about, you know, how sometimes the things that they write start to become true and get scary. <laughs> um, and the other panel that I went to, it was all about, like, the author's favorite books, the books that got them into reading, into writing, um, th their last favorite book, things like that. And it was also quite interesting because Karen McManus was there and she was talking about how um, she created these One of Us is Lying series and how nobody believed in her until One of Us is Lying came out. Um, Juno Dawson was there. It was really interesting. I really, really enjoyed the panel as well. Um, yeah, so today I'm hoping to go to Amy McCaw's panel, uh, Video Kill the Radio Star. I think it's all about TikTok, so I'm excited. I have no idea about TikTok. I mean, I just don't have the time to learn how everything works and get it done, to be honest. I have enough on my plate, but I'm still interested in it. So I'm gonna go and check it out. And I don't know if there's any other panel that I'm gonna be able to attend today because I have a lot of signings today. <laughs> So wish me luck that I get to all of them. Um, yesterday I did get to all of the signings that I wanted, including Neil Schusterman, which was the one that I was a little bit more worried about because obviously he's a bigger name. He has a lot of people that enjoy his books. Um, and I got the first book in Arc of Sight signed by him. I only took the first one because I do own the three of them in hardcover and I have to take them back and forth. So I decided to take just book one. Um, he was signing more, but... I only could bring one book because, you know, I cannot just bring all my hard covers. <laughs> um, I need to leave space for new books. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really excited. I did find a couple of interesting um, YA horror and thrillers that I bought and um, I do want to read more of that as you guys know, so I'm really excited about those. Most of the things that you can buy here is YA fantasy and contemporary, but there's also some thrillers and some horrors out there. So those are the ones that I'm trying to aim for. <laughs> um, even though I did get a couple of romances because, you know, once in a while, we just want that rom-com. Um, so yeah, um, I will try to vlog a little bit today as well, but it's so busy and the space that we have to walk is not too wide. So Saturday is the busiest day. Uh, I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm gonna take you with me and the outfit of the day is this dress that I bought and it's just comfortable. I can sit on the floor because in Yelk you might be sitting on the floor just to uh, relax for a little bit, read a book, repack your books <laughs> uh, so you can carry them all. Um, I killed my left shoulder yesterday, so today I'm carrying a suitcase.
my guys have been the absolute worst at recording the whole experience to be honest because I've been so overwhelmed this year because the Yelk is basically touching the Comic Con and it is a lot to take every day when it comes to sounds and people and it's really loud. So today was day 3 of Yelk and it was the only day in the morning that I was scared for my life when they opened the doors people were running for their lives to get a ticket for Alice Osman which is the reason why obviously I was here today um, but I did get a low number and then one of my author friends who I'm forever gonna be grateful for Amy, Amy McCall, you know her, Mina and the Undead which we will be doing a read-along for that book in August together so I hope you guys join me because the sequel which is Bigger, Stronger, Bloodier is coming out in September she was so nice to get me also a ticket so I got two things signed by Alice I also went to her panel which I recorded just a little snippet because I was just so nervous I was trembling I don't think I've been so starstruck by an author in a long time and I got to meet Alice twice today and I told her different things every time and she was so lovely she's taking time for everybody she's hearing everybody's stories and she's just an amazing human being um, yeah I couldn't vlog that sadly but they took pictures so I will put them somewhere um, I'm gonna post them forever in social media and keep talking about that experience I'm so so glad that I came I also met a lot of people um, you know publishers and booktubers and even uh, book people that love books in the Netherlands and now I can go book shopping with so it has been truly amazing um, yeah so I'll probably vlog a little bit more if I can but sorry I have not been vlogging and talking much because honestly it's just so loud and there's people everywhere um, also I got to meet Gavin and I was so scared to talk to him on Friday but I talked to him on Saturday he's an amazing human being Gavin from How to Train Your Gavin go check him out for a lot of fun and a lot of food recommendations a lot of content as well I don't know how he does it I think he doesn't sleep period <laughs> but it has been amazing and I hope to come back next year um, and yeah so I will try my best to give a proper ending to this vlog and show you a little bit more uh, but yeah uh, I will also make a separate book haul because honestly the purchases have been real <laughs> so yeah I'll talk to you guys later Alright guys, so the yuck is officially finished. Day 3 is over. I got all the signatures that I wanted for all 3 days. And of course my highlight, meeting Alice Osman, the one and only. So now I am starving Marvings. We're looking for a Japanese restaurant that we found yesterday. And the food is amazeballs. It's also really hot today. But yeah, now it's just food, rest and figure out how I'm gonna pack all the books that I bought to bring them back home.
Okay, you guys, so as you can see, here is my book haul from the whole London slash Yelk experience 2022. I still have to sort everything out and there will be a separate video with a book haul. Look at this munchkin. I've missed this face so much. Say hi. No, not in a mood. Love you. So you guys, if you have not noticed, I am sick. I think it was because the last day, basically, I was awake for 24 hours straight. And I had a lot of temperature changes. You know, every time we went to the underground or early in the morning going to the Yalk, it was cold. Then it was warm. In the Yalk and Comic Con, they had air conditioning going on really strong. So I feel like my body was going, was going from like really cold to really hot all the time. And I feel like that's why I got sick. So yeah, also 24 hours awake, <laughs> hanging in an airport, defeated, exhausted, done with the world. I don't think it did any favors to my body. <laughs> But anyways, I'm gonna try to take it easy today, drink a lot of tea, um, and just try to recover so I can get back on track with things at home. I need to organize all of the books that you see on the background. It's everything that I bought, everything that I took there myself to get signed. So I will be making a, a separate video all about the books that I got signed, the books that I bought, where I bought them from, all of those things. So the book haul is probably going to be my next video and like I said before I think I'm going to reorganize my bookshelves as well which is now the perfect time since I have so many books to add to the collection. So probably my next video is going to be the book haul and I'm so excited to read all the things. I did manage to get a lot of YA like thrillers and a bit of horror books. There were not that many there but I did try my best to find specifically those. I hope that you enjoyed the vlog. I know it was a little bit chaotic, a little bit all over the place. I have to make a better job next year because I am planning on going back next year. It was so much fun uh, Yeah, that I really want to go back. So hopefully I also get to meet a lot more of you there. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys as always in our next coffee time. Bye.